The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is an action-adventure game developed and published by Nintendo. This highly anticipated title was released worldwide March 2017 and is available on the Wii U and Nintendo Switch platforms. Despite its lengthy development cycle, the game was incredibly well received and earned countless perfect scores across the board from all the online critics. This iconic series has had a long history of consistent and successful releases. So what is it exactly that makes this Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild so special? And more importantly, what makes this game so much fun to play? Hello everyone, my name is Daniel, and in this video, we are going to explore how this game was able to break the conventions of modern video games and serve as an exemplary model of the action-adventure genre. The game takes place in a post-apocalyptic world known as Hyrule, and where the player wakes up as Link with little to no narrative context in the world. Players are first presented with a mesmerizing view of the Great Plateau, which serves as the purpose of a tutorial to teach the players the basic mechanics of the game. Here, the players will learn the basic operating actions that Link can perform in order to progress in the game, such as running, attacking, wall climbing, and even gliding. All of these actions can be performed by using the directional thumbsticks and the X, Y, A, B buttons on the Wii U gamepad or the Joy-Con controllers. One of the most important mechanics to master in this game is the combat system. During the combat, the player's reflexes and mastery skills are put to the test. For example, if Link jumps out of the way just as the enemy strikes, he will be able to execute multiple attacks in quick succession. This is known as the Flurry Rush, and will be very effective when taking down large boss monsters. The game also features a unique rune system, which are skills that effectively allows Link to manipulate various objects depending on his situation. For example, the Magnesis rune allows Link to pick up metallic objects with his Sheikah Slate and move them around. The Cryonis rune creates frozen pillars anywhere there is water and serves as platforms that Link can walk on. The Bomb rune allows Link to remotely detonate bombs that can sometimes destroy broken rocks to clear his path. The Kinesis rune briefly stops an object in motion and allows it to store kinetic energy whichever direction Link hits it. Although the amount of operations that Link can perform may seem overwhelming, each skill is introduced to the player one at a time and gets progressively more challenging as the player gains more experience. This approach is known as Emerging Complexity, which strikes a balanced difficulty to keep the player in a flow state. Another key feature that keeps this game interesting are its interactive objects. What this means is that these objects have dynamic attributes and can interact with one another to change states. For example, if I have a fire arrow and a pile of wood, I can shoot it to create a fireplace to bake some apples or pass the time. Players can also take advantage of these objects to make the fights easier or just avoid it altogether. Instead of challenging a mob of bokoblins head on, a cunning player might decide to utilize a nearby rock or a bomb to finish the job. This opens up an endless amount of gameplay possibilities as Link's powers are only limited to the player's creativity and mastery of skills. There are never one definitive way to achieve a goal which encourages the player to experiment with different strategies. These aspects of the game are what motivates the mastery and creativity type of players based on the gamer motivation model. After getting the hang of the controls, the objective of the game is simple. Defeat Calamity Ganon and save Hyrule. There are no tricks or plot twists. In fact, the game isn't ashamed of the fact that you can challenge the main objective by defeating Ganon right from the start. The goal is to provide each player with a sense of freedom to choose what and how they want to play. To reinforce this concept of player freedom, 
The game also features an embedded narrative that the player can experience through cutscenes and flashbacks. This gives players the option to read the narrative at their own pace. The narrative also defines the setting of this game to help make the gameplay more convincing. For example, since the setting is set in a post-apocalyptic world, it makes sense for advanced technology to coexist in the wild. These details give players a reason to accept the situation and the rules of the game. Without it, players will have a hard time staying within the magic circle. Overall, The Legend of Zelda exhibits many of the 14 forms of fun such as problem solving, thrill of danger, creation, power, and discovery. It also exhibits all of the defining traits that make up a good action-adventure game. And despite the current shifts in the industry to move towards more profitable multiplayer games, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild remains true to itself and its fans, while still breaking the conventions to offer something new. That is how The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild solidified itself as the exemplary model of its genre.